Hank and I, my husband, started Winter Dance uh, 12 years ago now, and uh, with a couple purposes in mind. Uh, first, we were loving dog sledding, it's definitely our passion. So to turn your passion into your business is, is always a, a wonderful reward. We've been married for 16, 17 years, and then a couple months after we got married, we purchased a small husky pup and got another one to keep it company. Got two more for a small team and slowly it escalated into what we have now, 150 dogs. Second, we wanted to field an Adidarod team. And for those who don't know, Adidarod is the granddaddy of all dog sled races. It's a, a thousand mile race across Alaska from Anchorage to Nome. And to do that, you need obviously a lot of dogs. There's 16 dogs on a team and you have to train for a couple years to get there. Got training and got our qualifiers in to run Adidarod in Quest. And in our last two years, we have run 1,000 mile races. 2010, we ran a Diderot. In 2011, we did the Yukon Quest. And this year, we're going back to a Diderot. Running a Diderot in Quest is like stepping back 100 years or 200 years in time. The people you meet, the amazing people, the hard runs, you, you, you find out what you're made of. The challenges are amazing. Even Northern Lights, you're running at night and it's as if the northern lights are coming down and touching you. Winter Dance is home to 100, 150 to 160 purebred Siberian Huskies. At Winter Dance, the dogs are part of our family. Every dog is a very, doesn't matter how good the dog runs or if he runs or if he does not run, the dog is still very special and everyone is an individual here. Our dogs are with us for life. We've always got a dozen older guys that are retired. Our retirement package is pretty good. Other than our racing dogs that have to be climatized to extreme cold, the rest of our kennel live indoors in 5,000 square foot kennel. The trailhead is where we meet our guests and the dogs start their day. Uh, we do instructions, so we teach folks everything they need to know about dog sledding. And they can go out for a two hour tour, or a half day tour, or a full day tour with us. Halliburton won our hearts in many ways. Certainly the snowfall was, you know, when you're a winter business, snowfall is important and it had one of the best snowfall areas uh, kind of anywhere in this part of Ontario. The landscape is just stunning. If you think of the most rugged parts of Algonquin Park, that pretty much sums up a lot of Halliburton County. The sheer rock cliffs, the cuts, and just the, the rolling hills that go everywhere. It's a beautiful spot to live and an even better spot to visit. It's all untouched wilderness. The scenery, some people say, just makes you want to stay there forever. It's, it's definitely escape from the world. The biggest challenge we probably have is convincing folks from southern Ontario that winter is pretty much guaranteed in Halliburton County. So even though it may be raining and plus six in Toronto, we can be getting snow and it's just beautiful. We try to keep it fun for the dog. It has to be a fun atmosphere at all times and that's the way we try to keep it. Training is fun, feeding's fun, summer's fun, winter's fun. It's just, it's just a very addictive sport.